The dengue epidemic has reached a critical point in Singapore. Can we go now? The number of dengue cases has reached a record high. I'm not afraid of the dengue fever. Government agencies are intensifying their efforts. <laughs> Know yourself, know your enemy. A hundred battles, a hundred victories. It's time we understood our enemy. Located at Simei, on the fringes of active dengue clusters in Tampanis and Pasiris, Dr. Kelvin Go. A general practitioner is the first line of medical defense against the virus. How many days has the fever been? Uh, three days already. After a physical examination, Dr. Go gets the patient's consent to take a blood sample to test for dengue. The blood sample is sent to NEA's Environmental Health Institute. EHI is the only institute that works on all three factors involved in dengue transmission the virus, mosquito, and human. When the patient's blood sample reaches EHI, it is first split into two components. What's needed for the dengue test is the yellow component or serum. The serum is added to the test kit. Soon, we will know if it tests positive. At about the same time the blood sample is tested for dengue, larvae samples collected by NEA officers arrive from all over Singapore. If there's anything you need to know about the behaviour of the dengue-carrying Aedes mosquito, researcher Abigail is on top of it. So it's found in a domestic container, in a mock pail. It's an Aedes, but not sure whether it's Egypti or Albopictus. There are different types of Aedes mosquitoes, each with unique behaviours, so Abigail must identify the mosquito. So what, what type is it? Uh, basically it's an Aedes aegypti. Abigail takes the larvae to the insectarium. Here, wild-type mosquitoes are bred alongside their lab strains for research to help formulate disease control strategies. So basically, here I have a mixture of pupa and the larvae. Actually, I have to use a pipette to pick the pupa out into a bowl and then replace the bowl into the cage. The reason why I'm wearing gloves is so that they don't bite me when I stick my hand in. Are they well fed so they won't bite you? We actually give them sugar solution. They might still bite. Does doing this creep you out? Do you think mosquito eggs can survive without water? Uh, no, uh, no. Their breeding grounds, I think, are is in is underwater. So I think they will not survive without water. They would die fast. Yeah, like two, three days. Not even a day, maybe. Actually, um, Aedes eggs, they can remain in dry conditions for about up to six months. So basically, they will remain dormant, and then when the rain comes, they will still be able to hatch. The dengue test results are out. Of the two patients, unfortunately, one has dengue. It goes next door. The serum of the positive sample is sent for serotyping. There are four dengue serotypes. The virus is extracted from the blood to find out which one it belongs to. After the virus is extracted, it is further analysed through genetic sequencing. We study the virus genetically so that we are able to classify them into different groups. And these different groups will give us an indication of how dangerous they are. There are certain characteristics of how, how fast they grow in the mosquitoes. Months earlier, it was such research at EHI that identified a change in the predominant dengue serotype in Singapore. This gave early warning of a potentially serious outbreak because of the low immunity in the resident population to the serotype. This better prepared NEA for the outbreak. 
one of the clusters has 95 cases, what, two months? Two months ago. And it's still progressing. So since it's in the risk group, is it potential to explode this cluster? While ground operations are ongoing, EHI researchers use the predictive model and a spatial temporal map to guide vector control officers in their inspections. You know, you see new things like new areas getting involved or new viruses, then you're very excited. For us, because we look at it more in depth, it's different for us. The dengue test result is faxed straight back to the clinic. Mr Chen, is it? I have good news for you. Your NS1 test, your full blood count and platelet levels are all normal. Mr Chen might sleep better tonight. It's like you ask yourself, you churn out all your information and then there you are, your friend is getting dengue, you know, your, your neighbour gets dengue. You, know, you ask yourself, what more can we do? Or you ask yourself, what have I not done? It sounds very cliché, I know, but I think that's the public agency's purview, you know, is to try and make it better. In the next episode... Why is this water here? Do I do something, eh? <laughs> <laughs>